Alright, it's storming, so I hope it's not too loud and that you can actually hear this. On Thursday it was my birthday and I got lots of book goodies, so I thought I would share them here in a sort of birthday haul. Uh, I'm actually going to split this up into two uh, because one set of the books have uh, one purpose and the other, the other set has another. So I'm going to do um, set two tomorrow for the recording. Um, so I'll work with the fictions today. So it's basically fiction and a non-fiction category. Um, the first book, uh, and these were all from my parents, and um, it was from that Edward R. Hamilton. I sort of go through and put little stars like, oh, this one looks good, this one looks good, and then they sort of surprise me as to which ones they pick from said pile. First one, and I'm going to actually share this with my mom, it was a Debbie Maycomer, um, Rose Harbor in Bloom. We both really enjoy her books. Um, it looks like a quick read, and it's probably going to be one of the first ones I get to. I don't even know what it's about. Hmm. Since moving to Cedar Cove, Jo Mary Rose has truly started to feel at home. Her neighbors have become her closest friends. Now it's springtime, and Jo Marie is eager to finish the most recent addition to her inn. In memory of her late husband Paul, she designed a beautiful rose garden for the property and enlisted handyman Mark Taylor to help realize it. She and Mark don't always see eye to eye, isn't that usually how it starts, guys? And at times he seems too far removed, yet deep down she finds great comfort in his company. And while she still seeks a sense of closure, she welcomes her latest guests who are on their own healing journeys, etc, etc. Uh, so that sounds sounds pretty good. I usually enjoy her books. Her books. Enjoy her books. Um, so let's see how that one goes. Uh, the next couple is 100% a fictional theme by Star Wars. Uh, this is Vortex. This was The Fate of the Jedi. And I believe this is after the Legacy series, if I recall. Um, this cover looks familiar. I hope I don't have it. I'm actually going to go through my books since I've been <laughs> reorganizing everything and I think I'm just going to sort of set my duplicates aside and maybe eBay them or something. I'm not sure, but I want them to have good homes. Uh, but I know these are all pretty cheap, so if it, it was a duplicate, that was completely my fault because I put a star beside it. Um, star Wars Scourge, look at that cover. That's awfully exciting. I don't even remember what this one's about. Ooh, I thought it was a large one. I was like, no! Um, da, 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 da. while trying to obtain the coordinates of a secret peril pact but potentially, I think, I, I think I'm tired tonight, but potentially beneficial trade route, novice, a novice Jedi is killed and the motive for his murder remains shrouded in mystery. So that sounds good. And the next one, yes, it's more of a theme, Kenobi. Gee, I wonder who this one's about. Uh, I actually got a couple chapters into this. Uh, and thus far, it's actually pretty good. Um, I, I don't think I've really explored that side. I, I admit I'm more of a Sith, so it's going to be interesting to read more of the Jedi, the Jedi side. So we'll go from there. Um, the next two sort of belong together. Boom, boom. Um, Star Wars: Agent of the Empire. This one is Volume One, and then Volume Two. Um, nice little graphic novels. I know absolutely nothing about these, so I am not much help, um, but I will try to find a link to it on Amazon or Book Depository. If you're so interested, oh look, there's Boba Fett. There's going to be excitement because he's abound. Um, so that was the fictional haul, um, and then the non-fictions uh, I actually will do tomorrow. I'm sort of semi still organizing them. Uh, they're part of a theme for my summer, uh, and so this should be an interesting sort of foray into a fiction, non-fiction land that I haven't been before, rather, not fiction. I'm really tired. I don't know. This was supposed to be a restful summer, and so far there's no rest. So maybe I'll just go to bed early. It's actually somewhat early. It's just dark because of the thunder and lightning and the doom. Doom. Um, and we're under a tornado watch. So I'm going to try to edit this before we lose power. All right, guys, how is your June going? It's closing in on the end. I'm so depressed about that. I think I'm going to have to take like a day or two. I live near a couple lakes. I think I'm just going to have to go to one of them and just like 
<laughs> lay on the sand and just pretend time doesn't exist. I think technology is spinning things a little too fast for my taste buds. I want it to go a lot slower than it is. Oh well, what can you do? Alright, I will see you guys next time. Bye.